Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today's build is kind of a tough one. This is a 1974 Schwinn Latour made by Panasonic. This was Schwinn's very first Japanese built bike. So I guess in the 70s, they were starting to get their butt kicked by some of the Europeans and Japanese bikes coming over that were lightweight compared to the 40 pound beast that um, Schwinn was used to making. This one was a 30 pound beast. So um, in 1974, they brought this over. It was not actually a Schwinn built bike, but you can see on some of the stickers, it, it was a uh, Schwinn approved bike. But nevertheless, kind of a little bit of a piece of history. Um, obviously 74, it's 50 years old. So, and I think it hasn't really been used much. It has a sticker on it from uh, Michigan State University that is from 1975 or six. Um, and this could have been the last time it was used as a campus bike back up in uh, East Lansing, Michigan. And for the most part, it looks like it's just been sitting for years and years and years and years. Lots of rust, the paint's kind of faded. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this bike and restore it so it, it's rideable again. Use as many parts as I possibly can and uh, keep the budget low. And this one actually was my backup bike to the previous build I did, which was the uh, was the cheap bike build off. And uh, I didn't know if I was going to get that one done in time. And, and this was a bike that I did in the interim. And so um, it was kept under 150 bucks. I think of my total bill on this one um, was, well, it was a free bike that I got. And um, the biggest expense was the wheels that I uh, put on it were, were about a hundred bucks. So, and then a, another like miscellaneous parts up to about 146 is what I spent. But um, as you watch me go through this build, you will see I had a lot of challenges. There's um, stuck parts, rusted, this is and that's. And uh, it was quite kind of an entertaining build and very challenging, I guess, needless to say the least. You'll see at the end, it's, uh, it turned out pretty cool. It's very rideable, mechanically perfect now. Um, still looks like an old bike, but um, saved another old bike. So anyways, um, you can see um, I'm uh, starting to tear this thing apart. So uh, sit back and enjoy. This is a little bit longer video, but it's kind of worth it. Um, lots of interesting stuff going on. All right, we'll uh, see you at the end of the video.
Uh oh. Tool. So I got this tool. Yeah, good. Something that's not stuck. Uh, mostly. Remember Bob Vila used to promote the Robo Grip? Cool old tool. Use it all the time. This thing hasn't been lubed in 50 years. Eh. Oh, and they're loose ball bearings too, by the way. <laughs> I didn't expect that. So we'll get them this way, and then we'll try to make sure we find them all on the floor somewhere. Goodness, they're actually in good shape. Huh, just dry though, really dry. Oh, lucky, lucky me. Oof, man, look at that thing. Let's just make sure that's really on there good.
just a little damage but it's off okay come on buddy yes Okay, now we just gotta get that out. Yes. Oh my God, I am lucky. And, wow, oh, more loose ones. And actually not in bad shape, surprisingly. Okay, now back to this one, which we know it moves. If you don't have a little magnet, in your shop you need to get one very handy that ought to do a little rusty on the outside but well I guess just a little dirty on the inside we'll check it out I have hope I think. Boy, this thing's stuck in there. So I did already check to make sure the seat post was not stuck in there. It did move, but that doesn't mean it's going to be easy to get out. So far, nothing's easy on this thing. And don't worry, I'm not ruining the regular screwdriver. This is my sacrificial penguin screwdriver. There it is. Let's move it. All right, let's get this out. Wow, that's about the cleanest thing on the bike. Huh. There we go. Let's get it shined up. There's one more thing I gotta do. Let's get that out. Dang it. There we go. Holy cow. Whew.
is going in the garbage. Okay, so I've got all these parts, rusty bits, brake stuff, front derailleur. I'm not sure if I'm going to use that or not. I've got another one that I may use. Uh, cable hangers, seat post thingy, headset stuff. And actually, I, I went, and I, oh yeah, and this guy, that hanger. This hanger, and actually this, I cleaned the grease out of the, the bearing cups, and as you can see, they're really nice condition, even inside uh, the bottom bracket, it's hard to see, but inside the bottom bracket is clean, the races on the spindle are good. So those are going to get reused. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all this. I'm going to get this adjusted here. I'm going to get this and we're going to take all the rusty bits. And they're going to go for a swim overnight in the uh, evaporust. So... We'll see how they all turn out. I'm not trying to make a showpiece bicycle. It's kind of a rat ride. That, that, that. Even these little screws. I'd, I'd probably find some of these and replace them. But we'll go for a ride. That. Yeah. I'm going to throw these in too to see if I can get the rust off of that easily. Headset cups. That one I think I can do on my own manually. Same with those things, don't really need it. Um, this guy. The tip of that guy. Oh, and all the bolts for the cranks. Those are going in. So they'll sit overnight and We'll, um, we'll catch them tomorrow and, and try to see how they are. Well, the chrome's pretty far gone. We'll probably just leave it like that. It looks good from the backside, though, so if you're following the bike... It's going to look good, but yeah, I guess it is what it is. Okay, a rust remover has worked. It's still, they're quite pitted and not that, be not that beautiful, but at least the rust is gone for the most part. And the parts are still useful, which I'm going to use them. Yeah, see all the pitting on there? But the good thing is, like I said, Parts are still useful, and it's all about bringing things back to life and reusing what you can. So, we're ready to reassemble this thing.
All right, I know you guys would probably love to see me restore these wheels, but the spokes are rust, 100% rust. The wheels are coated in rust and they're steel. I hate steel wheels. So these are going to be retired and I've got something, uh, I'll show you in a minute here. Okay. <clears throat> I picked these up off of eBay and they are really nice. Yeah, they came with tires on them already. So the, the current bike has 27 inch wheels. These are 700 by 28 C. Got some Bontrager tires. It's got the same five speed, really nice. Actually has, uh, I don't know if we can see it. The Campanolo hubs and the Weinmann made in Belgium. 700 C wheels, aluminum wheels. So these guys are going to go on the uh, on the bike. They're going to be a lot lighter. And obviously, um, I don't have to work uh, and try to figure out how to fix those other ones. So anyways, these are my new wheels. So after a little polish, you can see, oh, I can try to get the focus there. It's hard to focus on something so shiny. Anyways, you can see the difference between with polish and without. That's the oxidized paint, and then that's the polished paint turning out pretty good and then you can see up here in the front it has not been done yet and then across the top I guess it's gonna turn out pretty good so yeah, I'll get that at it and uh, we'll get back to you here in a second Okay, time to put all this stuff back on the bike. Oh, yeah, those are new bars. Much uh, more friendlier than those old drop bars from the, the 70s.
my goodness. Into the bar splayered. Hey there, just want to take a quick break and let you guys know that, you know, uh, you can support the channel if you want by um, buying some stickers. I got a couple stickers out now and you can get them at depuseshop.com. There's a link in the description below and um, I've got a couple of them. This one is my uh, favorite, you know, uh, being uh, kind of an anti-dork disc guy. I had to make a sticker about dork disc. We've got um, making old bikes great again. And then of course, old bikes matter. So those are three stickers that are available on my website. I'm also gonna start listing some extra parts, frames, bikes, as much as I possibly can. So um, anyways, go over to depuseshop.com and uh, check it out. All right, thanks.
right, well, there we have it. 1974 Schwinn, the tour, brought back to life. It was on the side of the road, found for dead, given away for free, and now um, I'd say it has another 50, life, 50 years of life left in it again. So, resuscitated from the dead. Tried to use as many parts as I possibly could, and um, except for, you know, obviously the wheels, rear derailleur is new, pedals new, cables. Um, obviously the bars I borrowed from the parts bin, and, um, you know, grips and brake levers and shifters and things. Oh, new seat, yeah. But basically, it is a um, brand new bike. This is a 25 inch frame, it's huge. I'm 5'11 and I barely fit on it. But, um, so I'd say this thing is built for anyone over six foot tall. Um, but anyways, hopefully I can move this on to someone else and give them a cool ride, comfortable, up, nice upright handlebars for, um, for ease of use and comfort. And um, anyways, so we'll we'll keep uh, building bikes like this. I got a couple more in the queue. So make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Put the notification bell on. And um, we'll have more bikes to build. Also, I do have my shop tour coming up soon. Hopefully I can get that one done maybe next time. We'll see. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.